Hey everyone, it's me with ADHD. Okay, so in my last video, I spoke about how to help with your memory and ADHD at home. And that seemed to have really positive feedback. So this time I wanted to talk about helping with ADHD and memory issues at work and at school. So before we get into this, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button below, stay up to date with all of my new content. So as we know for many ADHDers, it can be pretty hard to keep your memory sharp in any given scenario. But when you add work and school to the mix too, things really start to get messy. One thing that tends to happen to me a lot is I take on more things than I can handle without knowing that I actually can't handle it. This ends up in me spinning a whole bunch of different plates, trying to keep everything going and either scraping my way through it all with mediocre results or dropping a few plates on the way. So in regards to managing your ADHD, work and school can be an entirely different beast altogether. They don't follow the same rules of ADHD. They're full of deadlines, social environments, bosses and teachers. It is crazy out there. All these factors can really be a distraction and cause memory issues. So what are we supposed to do? Well, I have a few ways to help you conquer these hurdles and kick butt every single day. First things first, handling meetings. Oh, meetings. Do you ever feel like you sit down ready for a meeting, like totally ready to go, and then five seconds later, your brain is just totally unfocused from the person talking and refocused on literally everything else in the room. You try to refocus, you try to take notes, and you even try to listen, but the moment that you get out of there, you've forgotten everything. Yeah. Well, one useful way to counteract this, speak to your boss or your teacher. Let them know about this frustration. Once they know what's going on, they can pick up on it and even help to make sure that you stay on track. If that doesn't help, ask them or a friend or a colleague to share notes with you. This helps because you can take down the stuff that you missed in your own notes, or even photocopy their notes to make sure that you don't get distracted while writing down their notes. Lastly, you can always use a dictaphone or your mobile phone to record the meeting. You can't miss anything if it's recorded, right? Just remember to turn it on. Okay, so moving on. Another major issue can be working with deadlines. Deadlines can be a really serious issue for someone with ADHD. Not only do we tend to leave things till the absolute last minute, but sometimes we forget about those deadlines entirely. I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me. So here's what I suggest. Set alarms on your phone or your computer. These alarms can be used as memory triggers to jumpstart your brain into remembering what it is you need to do. If it's a big project, set reminders at regular intervals so that you can spread out the workload. Use sticky notes, write down triggers and small reminders on a sticky note and stick it somewhere that's clearly visible like your computer screen or your desk or bag. This works great for me because I get to pull it off, screw it up and throw it away once I finish the task, giving me a small sense of accomplishment each time. Okay, so what's next? Wait, what was next? Oh yeah, dealing with multiple tasks. Sometimes, ADHD or not, we just get given too many tasks to do. And while it's easy to just accept them and say you'll get to it, it's really hard to remember them all. So, of course, you reach for the nearest piece of paper, you scribble down what you need to do. Soon enough, you end up like me with a million notepads and papers trying to figure out what's what. For this, I say, Designate one notebook for your work or your school work. Not only that, but have a designated place on your desk where this book lives and doesn't move, like ever. Except for when you need to take it to meetings, of course. This stops you from putting it down somewhere and losing it, and then having to go and get another one, and then losing it, and then having to go and get another one, and you get the point. Now, inside that book, I have a pretty nifty tip for you too. Split that page in half into two different columns. The first column should be labeled T and the second one labeled R. The T side is for the task that you need to do that day. And then the R side is for the remember side. This is things to remember that's associated with the task. So here's an example. If your task was to call Chris, the remember side would say, talk about his ADHD video. He's available from eight to 10 on Friday. 
This works because you can quickly write down the task on the left side and then spend your time filling out the right side so you don't forget. So last up, guides. It's all well and good remembering tasks that we do a lot of, but with ADHD, our brains tend to get bored really quickly. And when we try to handle repetitive tasks, we tend to really rush them and start missing out steps to make them go faster. In our minds, this is a way more efficient way of doing it, but the reality is we're missing and overlooking important details in the process. So for common tasks that you need to do in a day, write down a step-by-step -step guide for it. Keep it all together and refer back to it every now and again just to see if you're staying on track. It only takes a minute to look back on your guide, but it'll really help you in the long run. I promise you that. And that's it. Hopefully these things will help you out the way that they help me out. And if you know any other good ways to keep your memory sharp at work, please drop me a comment in the comment sections below and let me know. So I hope you guys like my video and before you go, click that subscribe button, stay up to date with all my new content, like the video if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.